Hey everybody, this is Mount to Do Soldier playing Eternal Darkness and the Dis Requiem. <coughs> Excuse me. On the previous video, uh, we played as Elia uh, on the Binding of the Corpse God. Now, uh, we have a message tube. Let's uh, check it out. Antique leather bound message to the kind used to transport sealed message scrolls. It appears to be unopened. There might be something inside. Should Alex open it? Yes. Alex has found a chapter page entitled Suspicions of Conspiracy. Thy presence is long missed, my liege. The universe is a yawning chasm filled with emptiness and the puerile meanderings of sentience. Why should you deserve special consideration within it, Augustus, above all else? I am your servant, my lord. As always, that and nothing more. Yes, that and nothing more. What revelations do you bring me? My meditations reveal a flaw in our plan. Our plan, Augustus? Mantarok is a shadow ebbing in the light of our glory. It and the others are slow, weak, bound by the realm of the universe. Unable to unite to fight a common foe, they will fall one by one. Unfortunately, this is beyond your understanding. The binding of Mantarok will seal their fate as its power over us is diminished. Such an irony that the Keeper itself be imprisoned within the walls of its own magic. But what of its essence? Is that not the core of its remaining power? Upon my seeping into the corporeal world, I will be the dominant over all, Mantarok included. Your worries are unfounded. You must turn your attention to Charlemagne the Frack. His continued presence within the world is far more serious to our cause. As you wish, Master. He will be dead before the week is out. Okay, something's going on. Charlemagne the Frank. After the chapter page is removed, the message tube is no longer needed. Alex discards it. <clears throat> okay, um... We'll just uh, read this chapter page. From my research, it is apparent that the endeavors of mankind are mere puppetry at the hands of the ancients. Whenever a king vows reform, the ancients move quickly to stifle it. Under the auspices of Emperor Charlemagne the Frank, the new Holy Roman Empire was at the height of its power. Honk mit ad dominum et imperatorum nostrum, carolum magnum francum. Deliver non this to Emperor Charlemagne the Frank. No one but him must see it. They are words for his eyes only. At once. <gasps> what sorcery is this? A spell? I am bewitched. If this was meant for Charlemagne, then what will become of him? I have to warn him of this treachery. <laughs> All right, we'll play as uh, Anthony, and we just got um, a curse from a message scroll. Which will progressively get worse throughout this chapter. <coughs> Alright, we start out on this little, um, altar. <coughs> Alright. Now, there are some, uh, monks here. We'll 
talk to one of them. Visibly disturbed with grief and despair, the monk sobs pitifully. He recounts that this is not the only death to have occurred recently and wonders if perhaps the order is being punished for a wavering of faith. So I guess there's a somewhat of a funeral here. Okay. Okay, guess one of the orders have died. Fell from the tower to his death. His tone is guardedly vamping and wondering if indeed this is the truth. I will examine this. Funeral casket made from unfinished wood. It is not properly sealed. It could probably be opened. Should Anthony open the casket? Yes. Oh my god, what is oh, it? What should have happened? This is devil's work. We should get out of here. You have proven what we have feared the most. This poor man has been the victim of great evil. Look how his body has been defiled. As if something has burst out from inside him. Here, take this for your protection. And find the bishop. He must be informed of this horrible discovery. Okay, we have seen the uh, Sacrum. Scramassix. <coughs> Which is a short sword. Alright, uh, now... With this era being clear, might as well equip this. Alright, oh, this door right here, it is locked. Muffled voices emanates from inside the bishop's visiting chamber. However, the door is locked and Anthony will need the bishop's key to enter and gain an audience with Charlemagne. <coughs> Alright. All right, now we'll just go up the stairs. Uh, I've recently started watching uh, Stranger Things, and it is pretty interesting. I didn't really start watching it until maybe a few days ago. I'm looking forward to uh, tomorrow night because uh, Better Call Saul uh, gets back on AMC, the final six episodes. Oh, uh, and this... Uh, I don't know what you call it. Hallway. <clears throat> it's more like a... More like a gravestone. Alright, so... So far there are two statues. This exam is... P.S. Augustus. And as you can see, only... Half of him appears. So it's like... Kind of fitting because he's kind of like half dead. And we got Elia right here. <clears throat> Sorry about the me clear my throat constantly. I actually have been feeling right for a couple of days. I've been feeling miserable. Oh my god. Waking up in the morning with a feeling dizzy a little bit. And okay, but somehow due to the heat in the summertime, uh, my little body cold isn't as bad. Alright, let's examine this. Secret of what appears to be a leathery hand on this mysterious book. Yep, the tell of eternal darkness is here. It like um summarizes the previous chapters that you read, which is kind of odd, really, because in chronological order, it's kind of odd, you know, odd. But I like that. I like that um uh, recap. So this is the first chapter in the game where we actually use magic. As you can see, uh, Anthony's face is getting worse. There's a blue urn. Pick that up. Alright, now examine. Actually, there's nothing there. I don't know why that option was there. Alright. Mysterious gold medallion rests upon the desks. At the desk. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, so describe the amount of power that a spell will have. The more points within that circle, the stronger the spell will be. Spells are magical incantations that enhance a character's natural abilities. And there's a click spell button. Uh, we'll get to that later on. New spells, runes, um, Vothic opponents, magical spells required. There's a quick spell. So that's all we can look at for now. Now come up here. There's a bookshelf. Move this one book. Now we have a creature here with a, a rune inside of him. Just um, kill him like usual. Oh. Don't be afraid to retreat a little bit because. Oh! Oh! Ah, oh, come on. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's the first a creature killing another creature, and I'm about to get hit. Said yes, I did. Another gun. Come on. <coughs> oh my gosh! Come on, seriously. Oh, that took forever. We don't have enough to make a spell. Another one, just go past them. Okay, that uh, little cutscene right here gives us a hint of how to destroy these skeletons. Uh, fire. Destroys them easily. Alright, we saved that one monk. But, uh, yeah, there are still a couple things to do in here. As you can see, well, you can barely make it out. Uh, there's a pickup button. There are three pieces of uh, broken green air. Okay, we could combine or, well, mix. My uh, controller's drifting hasn't been acting up. So that's a good sign. I may jinx myself in a few minutes, though. Alright, let's talk to the monk. Grateful for his life, the monk tells Anthony what happened. He was carrying a sacred urn from a baptismal font when he was confronted by the bishop. He was brandishing a large blade and his eyes burned with an evil fire. Frightened, the monk dropped the urn out of shock and ran. Journey to retrieve the urn you found along the bishop. Gives the bit bishop's sword to Anthony. Two wedged sword. So we already picked up the broken pieces of the green urn. Alright, this uh, sword right here. I advise on using it for good bits of um, this chapter. Because the hallways are so narrow, the sword will just end up hitting the side of the hallway. So just save it for a couple of enemies in here. Magical codex, so... Runes cannot be understood without a codex. Without a codex, runes in your possession will remain a mystery. And as you can see, we got, so you got the item. And we don't know what that is yet. Uh, this location here, this church, this is the only um, location where we get these circles of power. There's the three point in this one, then later chapter, beginning of the five point, then the seven point. Just to let you know. Okay. How's this? Yep. Maybe we can use... Oh, yeah. Yeah, we can use that to cover some sanity. Use 
the torch again. It's amazing how smoothly my controller is moving. I've been having a hard time for a few days. Yeah, look, Anthony's face is getting worse. Okay, we got. Whoa! Oh, I should have left the Alright, this. Actually, I'm going to use the sword right here because there's plenty of room to use it. Alright, here is a another codex. Let's check the room here. So, we got item. Oh, now it's acting up, son of a... Now I'm just saying good things about my controller. Unbelievable. <sighs> okay. Oh, I hate you so much! <clears throat> Alright. Okay, we got a red urn. <clears throat> now there's a fountain. There's uh, that urn we got earlier. Let's use it. And it broke. We have received a magical urn. So, um, this is the only one that's filled. Okay, let's use the torch again. Burn this tapestry down. Okay, he's dead. Burning. That appears to be the bishop. He's limping forward. Codex, another one. So we get <coughs> project and item. That's what the two rooms are. And this appears to be what's going on? There we go. Enchant item spell. <coughs> Alright, we have to discover the enchanted item spell and we'll um we'll assign that. <coughs> Examine the spell scroll. Um I'm so used to assigning it to the Y button. <coughs> okay, magic meter. Yeah, that's the magic energy. It regenerates whenever the character is in motion. Alright, so with us able to enchant items, we can fix the broken urns. And son of a gun! Noticed. Well, I don't think you have noticed it yet. When you stand on on this um, pressure plate, it's going to open the door. But we need to fill the other two urns so we can keep that door open. So we need to head back to that fountain. Come on. Okay, 
now the urns have been filled, we can head back and put them on the pressure plates. What I like to do here is that uh, two-edged sword will enchant it. That way it makes it uh, stronger, able to inflict more damage. The enchant uh, spell I think should last long enough for this little fight scene. Come to return my book. Very well then. For your efforts, I promise a quick and merciful death. All right, just attack him. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, yeah. I'd say every two hits, or one or two hits. Don't be afraid to retreat. Okay, he's dead. Might as well take these two. This ship's key, so we can unlock that door at the start of the chapter. Alright, with uh, that being done, examine the shrine to a guard that God that bespeaks of an ancient evil that graced the earth before mankind walked its valleys. Just got hit. Yeah, uh, hallways like this, they're way too narrow to use the edge sword. Because watch, watch what happens when I, when I try to use it right here. Yep. Hits the walls. It's way too big. Actually, wait. There should be a few more here, but we can just get past them. Or might as well kill them because my sanity is only half full. Oh. This is a creature I really hate. Trapper. He's, uh, they look like scorpions, but they make noise. And let's see if I can. Alright! <laughs> Alright! Then it get, uh, trans. Then it get teleported. What happens is that when they spot you, um, uh, their title. Their waves could teleport you in a, a dimension where. You could refill uh, magic, sanity, and health. Okay, trappers have no eyes, but can sense sound very well. If Anthony can sneak past them, they won't be trouble. But uh, you would have to try to find your way back. It isn't that hard to get out of, but it is so um, so repetitive if you're constantly getting teleported in there. Oh. Ah, come on! Damn you, Drift!
monk of it bulls around nervously as if half expectant demonic bishop to return at any moment. So Anthony is going to be your... Oh! Okay, I guess the torch can destroy creatures like that. So I didn't really have to waste my time using my sword on that one that had that uh, one rune. So Anthony is walking really bad. Alright, now... <clears throat> now, before we go any further... Come on. Before we go any further, let's enchant this uh, two-edged sword again. <sighs> Constantly plugging on, plugging my controller. I'm getting frustrated with it. Alright, now let's head forward. There's a new creature. What this does, uh, it takes away your magic. It has three heads, so we gotta hit those three heads, nothing else. When I was a kid, I used to um, just hit the arms, and they're still alive. I was getting so frustrated at it. Yep, it's that easy. In the red alignment, it would be much harder. Well, slightly harder, because it takes away your health. So, the rest of the chapter will be uh, smooth sailing. There's not really that much to do anyways. We're just about done. Yeah, oh! Yeah, he's a lurch, and... Damn you, Joy-Con... Well, damn you, Drift. Oh my gosh, I'm getting frustrated. <sighs> Let's see, about 28 minutes into this video. Come on. There we go. Ugh. Right now, let's get in here. Uh, I don't know if he... Nah, it doesn't do it automatically. It isn't like Resident Evil where you automatically uh, use a key. trying to save him, Anthony. His fate was decided many centuries ago, as is the fate of this world. Despite your faith, there is little to save you from the power of Ulya. Okay, so that's done. So we'll um, one end the video right here, call it a night. So the next video, we'll actually be leaving this secret room because, <laughs> you know, we've been um, doing like three chapters just in this little room. But we'll be uh, starting to explore more of the mansion in the next video. This is Mountain Dew Soldier signing off, and I'll see you next time.